Ah, I'm tired of traveling, or of fighting superstition and its many manifestations. Even though it was me who chose to debunk folklore and mysticism, little did I know I'd end up being labeled as Patrick Galloway, the man with endless occult knowledge. Before I knew it, people all over the world paid me to investigate all kinds of weird things. <laughs> as long as they paid me, I'd look into it. Funny thing though, the more I saw, the more I believe there are forces beyond our control. Creatures not explainable in any human terms. Things that make me skin crawl. I fled from Ireland and hung around Paris and London with no real purpose till the Great War started. I joined a special unit whose job it was to squelch the fears of the superstitious farm boys who made up the fighting ranks. The Trasanti were the biggest pains. New commanding officer, Jeremiah Covenant, led our unit in the hunt for their camp. We were ambushed. They came streaming out of the woods, waving swords and howling like banshees. I saw their leader holding a strange stone over his head, yelling weird words in a strange tongue. And just when I was going to pull the trigger, he glared right at me. A bright green flash came from his hand, and it bowled me over as my gun went off. I woke up in a hospital bed with severe burns. They told me Jeremiah and the unit had gone on without me, but he'd given me the shaman stone to keep. I hadn't given any of this much thought until I came back here to find this letter that Jeremiah wrote me almost six months ago, asking me to come back to Ireland and help him out. This is not something I'm dying to do, for it may mean the death of me. He saved my life though, so I owe it to him. Just hope it's not too late. I'm Patrick Galloway, a friend of Jeremiah's. Sorry it took me so long to get here. His letter said it was most urgent. Jeremiah is beginning to think that the letter never arrived in your hands. He's been quite anxious to see you. We've all been quite worried. Jeremiah's now bedridden. Follow me and I'll show you to his living quarters. I apologize for the look of the house, but there's only a skeleton crew of servants now. Jeremiah let go of everyone else, and the house is much too large for us to clean. Because we've lost electricity to most parts of the house, we can only maintain the living quarters. This family's had so much tragedy. I hope you can help him. Patrick, you made it. At your service, Jeremiah. Sorry for the delay, but I've been abroad. What happened to you? It seems I've come under the watchful eye of the Reaper, my friend. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Apparently too long. Patrick, I came back from the war only to find my entire estate in disarray. My brother Aaron disappeared first, and then my sister Bethany. My declining health is a result of an old war wound, and unfortunately the symptoms are irreversible. I didn't summon you here to watch me die. I need your help. Anything I can do. Just name it. Strange events began happening around the manor. After thinning out my staff, they ransacked my estate, taking whatever they could carry. The rest of the help was quick to follow, as they feared rumors of my family's curse. I can't help but think it's more than a coincidence that strange happenings have increased since I've been back from the war. I want to get to the bottom of this, but I'm just too weak to investigate it myself. I'm relying on you to step in for me. Of course, Jeremiah. The only reason I risk coming back here is to assist you however I can. My thanks to you, Patrick. What the hell is that? Sounds like it came from downstairs. I'll check it out. Lock the door behind me. Those beasts were after me! What in God's name were those things? They're called Howlers. And while I've never seen one before tonight, I've heard of them for years. 
Those weren't natural, my friend. We're fighting more than superstitions here. Perhaps I was being naive not to tell you, but there might be something more sinister at work here. When I was a boy, I encountered something I can't quite explain. You see, there was this isle of standing stones that sits just off the estate. Someone had carved a sigil into each of the stones, something indiscernible. Father had many books on the occult, one of which contained a sketch of that very symbol. I took my brothers and sisters out to the island and read from my father's book. Well, what happened? Something answered. The ocean began to boil, and a great wind whipped against us as we stood in the circle, and my siblings huddled to the ground in fear. Eventually, the wind died, and the sea settled. Patrick, I know it sounds like the ravings of a dying man, but I believe those standing stones had something to do with this. What has once been a taint upon this family has now begun to manifest itself. But you told me you're dying. Doesn't this curse end with you? Who knows? My brothers and sisters are dead, but I don't think they're really gone. I've heard some servants whispering. They think they've seen Lisbeth on the estate. My family has come for me. I sense them, Patrick. By now, you and I know the supernatural exists. You saw the Howlers. And what about our encounters with the Tersante during the war? You still even carry the Gelzebar stone with you. It's a token of the shaman's life I took. That's all. I found a scroll with a picture of the Gelzebar on it. I believe it contains the way to awaken the stone's dormant power. Very well. Let me study this scroll overnight, and I'll see what I can do in the morning. This house still hides many secrets. I'm counting on you to reveal them and put an end to this mess. Have you noticed anything strange going on? Apparently, Elizabeth's room was broken into last night during the commotion. Where's her room? Just down the hall from here. It's quite a mess. Tell me what you know about Lisbeth. Why, she was a fetching young lass. Quite the fiery temper, though. She could be placid and calm one minute, and then suddenly she's spitting curses and swinging her nails at you like an animal. Tis a pity her mother died birthing her. Indeed. Following her mother's death, I'd raise Lisbeth like my own. In the end, the wasting sickness got her. I'd cared for her when she was sick and watched her wither away to nothing. Pity a young woman has to die in the spring of her life. Uh, now she rests with her poor mother at the family mausoleum. The groundskeeper claims to have seen her recently. <laughs> oh man, seeing a ghost is never a good omen. Where can I find this groundskeeper? He's out in the gardens. You can get there through the kitchen. Your knowledge is appreciated. Is that the door to the gardens? Yes, it is. However, I don't have the key. I lent it to the maid. I believe she is cleaning Air Kaisinger's room today. It's located in the east wing of the house. Thanks. I appreciate your help. Bethany often used this room as her office after Jeremiah left for the war. What can you tell me about Lisbeth? I've seen her. I've seen poor Lisbeth on the heather. When? I was coming back to the manor one evening, and I saw a silhouette perched atop a hill. At first, I thought it was a banshee, but I caught a glimpse of her face by the family mausoleum. It was Lisbeth, poor dear. Family mausoleum? It's to the west of the main house, through the trees. Is that near the standing stones, by chance? Standing stones? You have no need to go out there. There's nothing but bad luck and suffering for all who visited that island. I'll unlock the gate to the outer grounds, but 
I assure you that venturing out to the standing stones will lead to no good. Who are you, Jeremiah? No, you're an interloper! what you've turned into. Why are you haunting your family so? I know what I am. I seek vengeance. I was cheated by Jeremiah, and he will die to finish what was he done. You have awoken the past, but you don't know how to stop it. I will rend your bones and serve you to my pet. Something was watching me. What? Outside, in the shrubbery. All I know is Jeremiah isn't paying me enough for this. I'm leaving. What's inside the building? The old greenhouse, you mean? No one's been in there for ages. When Bethany was young, she used to be quite the gardener. Oh, you scared me. I didn't think I'd run into anyone at this hour. Likewise. So tell me, what do you know of Ambrose? Ambrose is the family secret they like to keep quiet. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, no one has ever directly told me, but everyone on staff knows that Ambrose killed his father. It's one of those family secrets they don't like to talk about. He killed Joseph? Yes. Seven years ago, in the game room. Even the authorities in town knew about the killing, but were slow to act upon it, since Ambrose was such a hellion. Throughout the county, Ambrose was known for his viciousness. Only a fool chose to stand in his way. I take it they never caught him. He emerged after months of hiding to claim his inheritance. He barged into the manor and proceeded to take whatever he wanted. By the time the constables could arrive, Ambrose had fled the scene. They gave chase, but he escaped their pursuit by leaping off a cliff. A cliff? Never hesitated for a moment. Everyone thought him to be dead. Except... Except what? We'd hear stories of Ambrose sightings for years. In the States, the Orient, even in Prussia. We really didn't believe he was still alive, until he came back and brought those heathens with him. The prodigal son returns. In so many words. I do hope I've helped you. You have indeed. Thanks. Do you know if there's a cove in the area? I am not familiar with any cove. However, old Sidgwick, who maintains the lighthouse, is as old as the sea itself. If anyone knows this area, it'd be him. 
Very interesting. I could tell you're not one of them teeth and trasanti. No. So, who be you? I'm a friend of Jeremiah Covenant. Jeremiah, eh? Is he still alive? Last I saw him months ago, the face of death was on him. He's better in. One had never know why how deserted the Covenant crowd should be. Only once I see prowling round a Trasanti scum. How do they get on the grounds? I hope them to. The only reason I'm still alive is because those thugs need me to mend a lighthouse. This is a treacherous inlet with all the fog, you know. And since the bridge back to the mainland's been destroyed, the Trasanti need me to keep their boats from crashing up on the cliffs. Call me Sedgwick. Are you alone here? No, I am. Them thieves killed me only son Connor when he tried to drive him off. I'm sorry to hear about your loss. Do you have any idea where these thieves are hiding out? Judging by the fair amount of Trasanti patrols I've seen by the caves up on the coast a bit, I'd see their hideouts nearby. Sounds dangerous, but I've got no choice. Things will only get worse if they're not stopped. I bet Ambrose is there too. Maybe if I can get to him, the Trasanti won't have any reason to be here. Ambrose, eh? Come to think of it, I may have seen him lurking about. But that's not good news for Jeremiah, I say. As I recall, there was these tunnels that went from the shore up into them cliffs, right up to this old garrison perched on top. My father kept me from playing up there by sealing off the tunnels with an iron door he kept locked. I wonder if the key might be in his old sea chest. Where is this chest? In me living quarters. Is that a working gun you have there? Maybe. Why do you ask? Those Trasanti robbed me of everything, including my revolver. They didn't find me grandfather's stuff, though, including some silver bullets he got in the Merchant Marines. He believed them superstitions and say you could kill werewolves and evil creatures with them. Considering some of the weirdness going on here, those bullets might come in handy. I know they're in the chest, so here. Take this key to my living quarters and have a look-see. Thanks. I appreciate your help. The more of them bastards you kill, the better. The way they killed my son, oh, it's the least I can do. Jeremiah, it's good to see you up and about. Indeed, it feels like I've slept forever. <laughs> I'm still quite weak, though. Um, come, sit close and tell me what trouble my siblings have caused lately. Ah, yes, brother. What madness has your family caused this time? Let's remember who started this whole thing, Jeremiah. A pity you're so weak you can't finish it. Why do you bring an outsider into family matters? Afraid you can't stop what you initiated? You, give me the stone around your neck, or I'll kill your dear friend right here and now. No, Patrick, don't do it! I must, Jeremiah. I owe you my life. Amros, the only way you'll get this stone is by letting Jeremiah go. You are in no position to bargain with me, outsider. Give me the stone, or my brother here gets a trip to the family mausoleum. Fine, here's the stone. Now let him go. He's not part of this fight. Here's where you're wrong. You're a stranger to a fight that's over two decades old. Jeremiah has everything to do with this fight. No! Had that coming for a long time, big brother. Now, fool, you'll taste the power of a real king.
It's sad about Jeremiah. I'm sure he would have wished to see this mystery solved. He was always trying to unravel the family problem, even when deathly sick. Perhaps you can find some clues among the items in his room. We've been adversaries for so long, Galloway. Whatever will I do with my spare time after I dispose of you? You're risking the mistakes of the past, idiot. You're opening up Pandora's box here. Don't damn humanity with your arrogance, Otto. Funny, that was what that little witch Bethany said to me before I killed her. It's a quaint little stage we all dance on, Patrick. But I've been waiting too long for this opportunity to be upstaged now. Your reckless pursuit of power must be stopped! I'm humored that you will even try. Ah, Otto, the future could have been so different. The king is coming. Eternal and undying, he will resume his reign. Ah, and his mistress, the now and future queen. Soon we will embrace and preside over the new dominion. Your king is a parasite, Bethany. I'll make sure you infect this family no more, and that your mighty king will feed the worms. Impudence! You struggle against the ocean and don't even realize it. All the power I acquired in this world pales to that which he possesses. His throne will be built on the bones of humanity. I promise you that'll not happen. It's time to steal your tongue. No, it is time for you to realize who you are fighting.
Well, it looks like you've succeeded. You are full of surprises, Patrick. You've apparently learned to harness that stone's power quite effectively, slain my entire family, done what I could not. You even bested Kaisinger. There must be some vengeful satisfaction there, eh? What is this vile lie? What's this? This is fate, old friend. I've spent the last 20 years fearing this moment, hoping to figure a way out of this curse. All I need is that stone you carry to end my misery. But I saw you die. You saw what you wanted to see. An old friend hacked down by his black sheep of a brother, yet slain by a weapon powerless to our curse. Of all people, Patrick, you should know the sole purpose of the scythe. I wish I could have planned on the hot-headedness of Ambrose, <laughs> but I couldn't have created a better ruse for myself. No way did you suspect me. You thought my siblings killed me, and your blind rage did the rest. <laughs> oh well, it matters little now. You've completed the work I could not. You were my friend. Why are you doing this? Oh yes, I guess we were friends once. But on that faraway continent, I felt the inevitable calling of my brothers and sisters. I was drawn back to this land, to the death that stirs beneath us. I died the day I saved you on that battlefield, seared by that blast from the Shaman Stone. However, I awoke from my death with lifeless eyes, enslaved to do the bidding of the king. I could no longer deny what was in me, but you unwittingly held the key. You can't think I'll let you get away with this, Jeremiah. You should be grateful I'm killing you. You won't like the world I've planned. Once I have the stone and drain the power of this old king beneath our feet, I'll show the world the true meaning of reality. You know what, Jeremiah? You talk too much. There's no way of telling where that Gelsabar stone disappeared to, into a bottomless ocean, or an eerie phantasm of sorts. I drifted out to sea. It took months to finally get my strength back. I think I finally have some idea of what went on. The beast I slayed manipulated the Covenant family the same way Jeremiah did to me. It called for him, and he called for me. The creature was a guardian. A sentinel of the gate to somewhere. Some when. The Celtic warrior was just a sacrificial lid on a tomb that was never supposed to be open. Oh sure, I've tried to convince myself that it's all over now. The terror. The battles. I've got to get away and rest, where no one will find me. You see, I looked into the Brotherhood of St. George, and I found other monasteries scattered all over the world. And other gates, too. Watched by other guards, no doubt. About the only thing I fear anymore is that they'll call me again. 